Next concept, make them miss. Hey, you know we're doing focus mitts. You want them to hit the focus mitts. But one bad habit that can come from only hitting mitts and hitting the heavy bag is you let the target or the equipment stop your punch. Okay, so for example, Sarah's throwing the punch here, boom, right? And then if something, you actually do it in sparring, I've seen this so many times, people actually be sparring, and they haven't sparred really much before, they go to throw the punch, and then when they throw the punch, the person moves and they hyperextend their own elbow, because they're whipping that out without thinking about holding and keeping a little bend in the elbow. So when you're punching, you need to make sure you punch, but you keep just a little bit of a bend in there, so that if you miss, you don't hurt yourself. So a good way we can train that is on the mitts, is we make the person miss sometimes, but we, we make sure they know ahead of time to ensure that they're doing with proper form. And then later when they get good, you can do it, make them miss at any time. So for example, here we go. Just touch hand, I'm gonna hold here, so it hits it. That's right, now watch, she's hitting it. Okay, just tap it, just barely touch it. See, she's not doing that, she's actually hitting it. Ready, pop, pop, boom, there we go. There it is. See, didn't, did you hyperextend your elbow? Darn, no, I wanted to give you a good example. No, but that's, that's it. See, she's holding out and she's making sure she doesn't totally extend that punch. But each one she's committing, she's hitting hard. Hitting hard, hit, good, hit, good. Look at that, pop, there it is. It looks the same, she throws it out and the miss comes, it's the same punch. It's very important if you're actually training to fight. Because when you actually fight, guess what happens when you punch? You miss a lot. You don't hit them all the time. If you're actually sparring, you know that, or you're fighting, you know that you're gonna miss. So keeping your, your fighter safe by making sure you make a miss sometimes is, is important. Going with this, we're gonna step back to where we did the takedown. We add the shot in there to make sure at all times your partner is defending that shot. But watch what we did earlier. For example, she, let's just go on the cross right there. She throws across. Boom and then I would shoot in, right? But when is a person most dangerous when they're shooting in? It's when they shoot as you're throwing the punch, right? You need to make sure your defense is in place, not just after the punch, but during the punch as well. So this time, I'm gonna make her miss and be shooting at the same time. So we'll go slow motion. If I go here and I make her miss, and I come in as it's punching. It's also good for me if I'm training it helps my timing on my entry as well. But so we go here, and this is how we're gonna do it. I make her punch, hit hard. Good, there we go. So in, then throw some back, throw some back, right? That's it. There, you see how she caught that? I was in deeper than earlier when she punched and I shot after the punch, but she was still, she went whoop, and she adjusted and got that elbow down. That's what you want. Now when you're training it, what's gonna happen sometimes with your partner, we go slow motion, you go here and you will get in. So it's, yeah, we go in, bang, and you will get in. Okay, that's good for your partner too because they will, they will need to adjust to where that elbow is and getting their feet up, turning out on that. This is not a technical uh, technique on how to defend the takedown, but we wanna make sure they have the timing on that. Got it? So make a miss. You can make a miss with a jab too. You jab. Jab, there's your jab, right? Just like that, see, there you go. Make a miss, she's like, ah, oh, she has to hit me. Yeah. <laughs> Add that in, make a miss.